Assalamu alaikum welcome to another informative video today we will discuss passivation of water system in this video we will learn what is passivation why we perform passivation what is the science of passivation which chemicals are used for passivation what are the advantages of passivation and how passivation is performed hello everyone i am sajad and you are watching my youtube channel pharma inform if you have not subscribed my channel first of all press the subscribe button so everyone of you working in pharmaceutical industries is familiar with the water storage and distribution system but many few of you are familiar with the term passivation what is passivation before going into details of passivation first of all we will discuss water system mean in pharmaceutical industries water is of great importance every cleaning and manufacturing activity is performed with treated water which is stored and distributed by specially designed storage vessels and loop circulation system what is the moc of storage tank and loop circulation system material of construction of these storage tanks and loop circulation system is stainless steel 316l 316l stainless steel grade is used for construction of these loop system and storage tanks so now what is passivation passivation is basically related to the stainless steel every equipment constructed with stainless steel require passivation here we will discuss with the example of water system in water system we have storage vessels and loop circulation system made of stainless steel any other transfer lines used for the transferring of bulk liquid may also be treated with the passivation so what is passivation passivation is a chemical process which is used for stainless steel where ss or stainless steel is treated with special chemicals to enhance its corrosion resistance to understand complete about passivation let's have a look over science of passivation for this we will discuss composition of stainless steel we know that stainless steel is an alloy and it is composed of mainly iron nickel and chromium 10% is about chromium the chromium concentration in the steel vary depending upon the layers and at the top layer or near the surface there is a thin layer of chromium plus iron where the ratio is 1.5 to 1% between chromium and iron the chromium available on the surface reacts with the oxygen and form an inert layer which is known as passive layer this passive layer or passive film is basically known as natural passivation mean naturally on the surface of the stainless steel there is a reaction between chromium and oxygen and this reaction form a protective layer which is known as passive layer and this protect against corrosion so how passivation works basically passivation works by removing free iron from the surface mean when we treat stainless steel with specially designed chemicals the function of these chemicals or the process of passivation is to remove free iron from the surface and it show in and it ensure the availability of chromium available at the surface to form the passive film mean to form the protective layer it was about the working of passivation a ratio of chromium to iron about 1.5 to 1% or high is considered good for the passivation which chemicals are used for passivation nitric acid or citric acid are usually used for the passivation when we need passivation as we discussed that naturally there exist a layer which is known as passive layer for corrosion resistance but why we need passivation we need passivation whenever we do any modification or fabrication or finishing to the stainless steel or there is any welding to the stainless steel we know that there may be many joints for the 
loop system and we use welding orbital welding is used so passivation is required because contaminants present at the surface reduce the properties of chromium for its corrosion resistance what are the advantages of passivation corrosion resistance is increased by the passivation equipment life is increased maintenance cost is reduced and product quality is improved due to the elimination of contaminants and passivation remove contaminants from the surface now, now most important what is the procedure of passivation generally we use 7 to 10% of nitric acid first of all we prepare 7 to 10% solution of nitric acid as required according to the capacity of our storage vessel we add nitric acid solution in the storage vessel and close all the user end valves and circulate this nitric acid solution from storage tank through all the loop circulation system for 2 hours mean 7 to 10% solution of nitric acid is circulated into the loop circulation system for 2 hours after 2 hours we open each user end and discard the nitric acid solution now we fill the storage tank with the purified water freshly prepared purified water and again circulate it for 1 hour and after 1 hour we again check its ph and conductivity after 1 hour we discard this water and again fill it with water and circulate it again for 30 to 60 minutes and again check its ph and conductivity the ph and conductivity of this water must be equal to the feed water and if the ph is according to the ranges our passivation process is completed so it was all about passivation if you have any confusion you can ask in the comment box and the link of article on passivation is also given in description you can read the article visit my website farmandfarm.com to read more interesting articles and do subscribe my channel and share it to others till the next video allah hafiz